Uh, hi, I'm gonna show you how to install Quake and set it up for speedrunning. So first of all, all the links will be in the description. Go to the speed, Quake Speed Demos Archive, the downloads page. You download quakelite.zip. I, uh, I already downloaded everything, so I'm just gonna show it here. You're gonna get this. And all you have to do is just extract, extract it wherever you want your game to be installed. I already did that, so it's on my desktop. And this is your game. Okay, next up, we're gonna be downloading the source port. So the source port that's allowed for speedrunning is called Joquake. Uh, you should be using either one of these top two versions. I'm not gonna explain the differences between them now, maybe I'll do another video. I used the one from 2013. So for now, let's assume you downloaded that one. Anyway, <clears throat> uh, once you've downloaded it, you'll get this file, this zip. So just open it up, extract it, and pull all of these to your Quake Lite folder. Okay. And now the last step. We're gonna go to the third link, which is the Neaquake site, um, the GitHub page for Neaquake. This is like a, a Joe Quake derivative, basically that fixes some minor problems people have with Joe Quake. Um, you can read the things that it adds here. Some of these are particularly important for me, like the splash, removing the splash screens which can actually take very long for some reason. Anyway, to download it, you click on the Releases tab over here, and you download Neaquake, this file, .7-zip. Uh, yeah, I already downloaded it. Anyway, once you download it, it's over here, you open it, and all you do is just once again, paste the Neaquake gl.exe into your game folder. Okay, now that we've done that, just one more thing you need to do. Uh, you have to go back to the back to the Speed Demos Archive downloads page. You want to download QDQ stats 18.zip. It's over here. This is basically a mod. That you that you use to get the accurate demo timings and also has some other neat features. Anyway, this is the file you're gonna download, qdqstats 18zip And uh, just to make sure you do this correctly, all all mods need to have their own folder. So you'll create a folder called qdqstats18 in your main game folder. Then just pull all the things from stats 18zip into this this folder. And that should be it. Okay, the next thing you will run the game with a shortcut. So create a shortcut of neaquakegl.exe because you need some startup parameters. On the startup parameters you can use, you can find them on the on the Neaquake uh, GitHub page. So if you just scroll down here, you can see these that are available. The one that's not mentioned here and the one you want is minus game QDQ stats 18. You don't need to use any others. Now that you've Install the game and everything. Uh, just to let you know, it will always run at the max available resolution in 4x3 with black bars. If that's a problem, I might make another video. Okay, now the game runs. It's kind of loud. <clears throat> One final thing you might want to do is I will also provide the link to my config. You see the game now generated a config file and it's in the QDQ stats 18 folder. You could edit this here. 
or you could just add your own uh, config and name it autoexec.cfg. That way the game will always exec, like run this config as soon as the game starts. So this is my config and I will provide a link to it. And uh, I try to add uh, these various uh, descriptions of stuff, like the comments. The comments are after a backslash backslash, so you can know what does what. You can just kind of re uh, read through this. It shouldn't take too long and it should be fairly clear what does what. Okay, now that we place that in. in the game. Now the game is set up with my my settings. And that's it.